Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Another fight at Trump's Hollywood star cop attacked by apparent leftist. It has been quite the week for President Donald Trump's star in Hollywood as a second fight breaks out after the star was destroyed by a culprit using a pickaxe. A fight recently broke out between when pro-Trump folks were standing by the star, wearing a Trump jersey, and were allegedly confronted by anti-Trumpers. Then another fight broke out more recently in which it appears as though police are struggling to apprehend someone. That someone is believed by many on social media to be a leftist, but it has not been 100% confirmed. However, their actions in the video might have dictated the way people perceive them. People who view these videos are free to make their judgment and opinions, but should also be sure to not rush into judgment and perhaps wait for facts. The actions in during this violent incident may have led many to believe that's the case, but we cannot officially confirm this either way. Then again, if someone is attacking a Trump supporter or fighting with the police over being arrested for it, then they might be a leftist. Donald Trump's star in Hollywood has brought out the violence this week and this melee was not much different than the last, although it may have had a bit more blood to go with the punches. A man wearing a burgundy shirt was apprehended and it looked like he struggled with police in some of the video footage that we've seen. The clashing incident is the second in just under a week and was reported by Greg Mills of CBS2. All those talks from Rodney King and getting along sure aren't working when it comes to the pro-Trump versus the anti-Trump extremes on both sides of the political battlefield and these fights are getting out of control. Extremes from both sides are turning their core values into excuses to pummel each other. People are getting hurt and arrested and might want to relax and sip some tea for a bit. CBS 2's Greg Mills was at the location when another brawl broke out Sunday evening. LAPD tried to keep the pro-Trump forces away from the anti-Trump group. Mills was there when one vocal Trump detractor in a burgundy shirt ended up being wrestled to the ground by police. That man was arrested, Mills reported. It's the second big fight at the location in four days. There has been fighting, screaming matches, pushing and shoving, acts of vandalism, men dressed as Russian cops protecting the star, comedian George Lopez even pretended to urinate on the star using a water bottle. It would be an understatement to say tensions around the star have increased. Videos of two different men destroying the star weeks apart have also made the rounds. The first vandal vowing to raise money for the second. On Sunday, there was a man in a Make America Great Again hat speaking into a megaphone. A group of pro-Trump supporters said the man was not with them as he shouted, We got America Great Again and other pro-Trump slogans. His red MAGA had seemed to be a target from some in the anti-Trump crowd. This guy, came up and said he was going to pull his hat off, and I was like, makes a negative sounding noise, went up and pulled the Make America Great Again hat off and after that everything just went crazy. They started fighting, said one woman. The kid's father came and said hey that's my son. Don't be going after my son. Got UPI in his face. Starts pushing him. Then the guy with the megaphone head butted him, said Louis Martinez. The man ended up with a cut on his nose and it was clearly bleeding. Mills was told the guy in the purple shirt was that man's son, but he couldn't confirm that. But after he charged police, trying to protect his father, they took the younger man down and arrested him. Police told Mills they are looking for one more suspect but it was unclear if that was the dad. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.